Wandsworth Council's home ownership team, HOT, administers the SONS register, which has currently just under 4,200 applicants on it. You need to be either a resident of the borough, e.g. council tenant, housing association tenant, renting privately, or working in Wandsworth with a household income of no more than £90,000 per year. You will need to complete a home ownership application form and send in all your supporting documents to receive an eligibility letter within 10 working days, which quotes your registration number. We will send out a re-registration form annually to ensure your details are kept up to date. This will take account of any change in circumstance, such as a salary increase or a change of address. When marketing a development, the housing provider requests a nomination list from the council specifying the minimum income and savings amount for the percentage share to be bought. The housing provider will then invite these applicants to a viewing. When a property is viewed, applicants must let the housing provider know their preference so they can approach us with a list of interested nominees. Thereafter, the housing provider can offer the property according to our allocations policy and undertake a financial appraisal. Our allocations policy comprises five main priority groups as follows. Priority one, ones with council tenants with a recognised higher need, i.e. living in overcrowded conditions, general and regeneration decants, essential repair cases, tenants under occupying and homeless persons. Priority two, all other ones with council tenants and tenants of housing associations currently occupying property within the borough and serving armed forces personnel. Priority three, first time buyers who currently live within the borough and Wandsworth shared owners needing to move to a larger property. Priority four, existing Wandsworth homeowners needing a bigger property with a household income less than £90,000 per annum and who cannot afford to buy in the open market, plus first time buyers who work in Wandsworth but do not live in the borough. Priority five, Wandsworth shared owners without a recognised need to move. The specifics of each sale will vary but the completion date will be agreed between the applicant solicitor and the housing provider solicitor and could take anything from one day to four weeks from exchange of contract. The matter will only conclude when the mortgage money has been transferred to the housing provider solicitor. Some FAQs. What does a shared ownership lease entitle a purchaser to? The lease is normally for 99 years and will entitle the purchaser to live in a flat as an owner-occupier, allowing for further shares to be bought or sold. Can I make improvements or alterations to the home? The housing provider will need to consent to works if they involve non-structural alterations. However, structural alterations to the property are not permitted. Staircasing. This involves buying additional shares in the property up to 100% and means the amount of rent paid should decrease whilst getting nearer to owning the home outright. Costs involved. Purchasers must be able to finance a survey, legal fees, stamp duty, deposit, roughly 20% of the property price and reservation fee. Additional costs. These might include mortgage payments, rent for the part of the property you don't own and council tax. Further costs. The leaseholder would need to include repair, internal costs, service charges and insurance, contents insurance. The following developments are a few examples of the type of shared ownership properties you could be nominated for and are currently being marketed in Wandsworth. Here's a case study to give you a practical example of how it works. Mr S bought a one bed apartment at Riverlight in Nine Elms. He earns £42,000 a year. Now the full value of this property was £637,360. Mr S paid a deposit of £50,000 and a £500 reservation fee. He bought a 25% share of the property equating to £159,340. His monthly payments break down as follows. £436 for his mortgage repayments, £398 for his rent and £209 for his service charges, totalling £1,043. Now, compared with the approximate monthly cost of privately renting one-bed homes in this part of Wandsworth, you're looking at £1,600 or more.
Right to buy. This is a scheme under which long-standing council tenants are entitled to purchase their property at a heavily discounted price. You must be a secure tenant with at least three years tenancy. This depends on length of time as a secure tenant and whether you live in a flat or house, so the calculation will vary, but the maximum discount will never exceed 112,500. You just need to complete an application form, RTB1, which will entitle you to an energy performance certificate, EPC inspection and evaluation. Applicants have 12 weeks to respond to the offer and in the event they disagree with the valuation, an appeal must be made in writing to the home ownership team who will present this to the district valuer. If the offer is not accepted within 12 weeks, then a 28 day reminder letter will be sent out after which the offer may then be withdrawn. When accepting an offer, solicitor details must be provided in order that our legal section may then send draft documentation onto the appointed solicitor. Thereafter, a series of notices will be served stating a set time period in which completion may occur. After this appointment, the right to buy application may then be withdrawn. Right to part buy is a voluntary sales scheme launched by the Wandsworth Home Ownership Team in January 2017 enabling eligible ones with council tenants who qualify for the right to buy but who cannot afford to buy their property outright to own a percentage share of their property. You must be a secure tenant with at least three years tenancy and not have received housing benefit up to 12 months prior to your application. You must pass an affordability test to purchase a minimum initial share of 25 or 50 percent in your home. Right of first refusal if seeking to sell your home within 10 years of completion, you need to write into the home ownership team and offer it back to the council in the first instance for them to make the decision on whether to seek to exercise buyback of your property. If selling your property within five years of completion, you may need to repay all or some of the discount originally given. This repayment amount will be a percentage of the resale value. The House Purchase Grant Scheme, HPG, is a voluntary scheme allowing tenants to apply for a grant subject to eligibility criteria as gap funding to vacate their council property and to use towards buying a home on the open market anywhere in the world, purchasing a share of a shared ownership property within the UK or adapting a family member's home within the UK. You need two years tenancy to move out of your council property and use a grant towards purchasing a new home on the open market the value of which will depend on your number of bedrooms, length of tenancy and outcome of a means-tested financial appraisal. The purchase price must not exceed £500,000 for an open market sale within the UK or £200,000 for an open market sale abroad. All you need to do is complete a home ownership application form and if successful you receive an eligibility letter informing you to start looking for a property but you cannot place an offer on any property until provisional funding has been set aside for you. Home ownership team are open Monday to Friday, 9am to 5pm. Reception area is located in the 90 Putney Bridge Road, Wandsworth, SW18 1HR office, or at the Town Hall, SW18 2PU, appointments only. Our webpage, www.wandsworth.gov.uk forward slash home ownership. Email house sales at wandsworth.gov.uk. Telephone 020 8871 6161 or visit our stands 5 and 6.